Hello everyone, and happy Independence Day! As you can see by my shirt, we're having some Oreos today! And the main type are these American Oreos. Well, let's get to it. Let us get some straight into it with our first type of Oreos. The red, white, and blue American Oreos. With popping candy, as the packaging likes to show us. Okay. Well, here we have the first opening of the package. Of course. And here you have one of the specimens. One right in the middle. Middle tray. Got red, white, and blue cream. Pretty good cookies. And of course, I'll be trying to eat this with milk. Like how we're supposed to eat Oreos. Dunking it in. Well, let's have a closer examination of it. Here we have our specimen. Okay. This is the top of the cookie. I know it may be hard to see, but engraved in it says Team USA. I know mm, it, it is hard to read it with uh, this being a dark one, a colored one. The other side is just a standard Oreo cookie. And here we have the inside. Top is blue, then white, then you can see just a bit of red down there. Hm. Looks nice. Now, to eat it. Well, here it goes. First, American Oreo. Uh, first, without milk, without dunking it in milk. Well. Like. Like the uh, packaging says, it does have candy that pops in your mouth. It actually does taste good. Not too different from the standard Oreos. It tastes like freedom. That's what it tastes like. I would recommend this. Just a bit of milk. Well. Oh, crumb. Yes, I would recommend this sort of Oreo. Now, let us try the same sort of Oreo, but dunked in milk this time. Okay. This sort actually has... Uh, I know it's hard to see, but the American flag engraved in it, and the Olympic rings. So I assume it's something involving the Olympics. Personally, I do not watch sports, uh, but for people that like any of the Olympics and sports in general, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. And I've learned this trick to stick a fork right into it so it doesn't slip. Well, let's dunk it in. About halfway in. And let's try it. Here it goes. Still does pop in your mouth. Mm. 
And it is still good with milk. Like most Oreos. Mm -hmm. I would try this with milk as well. Up next, we have limited edition s'more Oreos. If you didn't know that, uh, <clears throat> s'mores are actually an American creation. Popular in the US and Canada. But, here we go. More Oreos. And once again, we're going to take this first one. Looks like standard, standard Oreo markings on both sides. And, and it looks like cream, but we'll have a closer inspection. All right, on, this is the closer examination of the s'more Oreo. Looks like a standard print on uh, the cookies on both sides. I think these are the yellow, like, vanilla, in quotes, uh, type cookies. I can see on both, and the both <laughs> of these things, the uh, white and the uh, chocolate cream. I assume th uh, this is marshmallow instead of just the standard, the standard Oreo filling. <laughs> because the packaging says it is marshmallow. Hmm. Well, we'll try it with and without, just like the last Oreo types. Right? Here goes, small Oreo. Oh, wow. Uh, and, if you didn't know, I rinsed my mouth out with water between every, every tasting. Uh, so, uh, flavors don't carry over and uh, screw up our results. Well, here he goes again. Small Oreos. It is a different, a different flavor. And I do believe, like, I mean, it's been a some time, but I do believe these cookies are actually different than the standard yellow cookies. I do believe they're graham crackers. There's a disguised as Oreo cookies, not just standard yellow vanilla Oreo cookies. But they are still good. They are good. I would recommend you get these if you can find them. Now to test the s'more Oreos in milk. Here it goes. It is still good. I still would recommend this. Now, for our last Oreo of this video. Brookie O Oreos. I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to say it. According to the packaging, it has brownie, original cream, and cookie dough flavors. Huh. Well. Now let's see if it's good or not. Wow. These are thick. 
let's have a closer examination. Here is the Rookie O Oreos. Standard Oreo printing on both sides. I see here the white standard cream, the uh, I assume cookie dough, and on top um, is the third one. Squished just like uh, the blue on the American Oreos. Well, let's t taste it. Well, let's try it. It is rather different, a different taste, I must say. Okay. Hmm. With the brownie on top and the standard cream on the uh, middle, between both cream, uh, the special ones and cookie dough last. Well, if you like cookie dough, I assume this is what cookie dough tastes like. I actually never tried cookie dough. Mm -hmm, before you can actually barely taste the brownie here is mostly the cookie dough I don't really like it as much as s'more or American flavored, but maybe if you like cookie dough and brownies, you should try it. Well, now for the dunking, dunking test. Right, now for the dunking test. But before, if you can notice, there are actually uh, other particles in the milk now uh, uh, from the uh, two previous cookies we've tried in this, but I'm sure uh, they are of no importance and would not affect my decision at all. Hmm. Actually my fork actually uh, kind of makes some of the cream uh, stick out the other side, but it all still holds firm. Let's try it. There we go. And now, you know, the tasting of the dunked uh, Brookie O one. Let's hope it'll improve its chances. Since there is a, uh, since there is a lot of of the cream, it does take up a lot of space in my mouth, but it is still pretty good. Hmm. Oh well, time for my ratings. Alright, here are my ratings. In third place, drum roll please, is Brookio. No surprise there. It has a strange flavor, I'd rather I say that yeah, it's a acquired taste, as some people may, may like, but not at first. 
second place. American Oreos. They are not, you know, as good in this video as one other contestant. And it is, in first place, S'more Oreos. Oh yeah. I must say, the unique combination of flavors is, is pretty good. Well, that's about, that wraps it up. Thank you for watching, and happy July 4th!